No plates. Nice. He's in the back. Crystal. Happy week before Thanksgiving, gang. My early gift to you guys is the ground loot tier list for the mid-season update of season six Cold War. We are drawing ever near to Warzone Pacific, an anti-cheat, finally. Last two seasons have been pretty rough, not gonna lie. Played less games in the last two seasons combined than any other Warzone season prior. So I'm eager to see if things will improve when Pacific drops. Let's close out Cold War well. The channel hit one year a few days ago, so thank you everyone for the support. Over the past year, it's been a fun, awesome journey, and I'm looking forward to what year two will bring. In the meantime, let's get ranking. All right, so we got a full six tiers this season. We still got that new S tier, and now with the Magnum 1911, this is back. All right, so starting with the AK-47. Sorry to you guys, I left that out of the attachments video, but it's really good. It's definitely an S tier weapon. AK-47 is one of the best sniper supports right now. The rare, not suppressed, is definitely an awesome rare option. AK-74U, I've got it in slightly below S tier. Um, I think the other SMGs, especially with the OTS-9 around this season, <clears throat> kind of pushes this down a notch. It's still really good, it's still suppressed. Yeah, I think it's a notch, a notch below, but still, still A tier. I mean, guns in A tier from this season would be S tier in a lot of seasons, so not the worst place to be. This AUG just bursts, semi-autos just don't have a place in the meta right now, so it's just a gun. This car V, same thing. It's burst and just, it's all right. You know, these guns will get the job done. It's just, maybe not the AUG. I've, I've not had <laughs> such great success with the AUG. Sigma always a down one. This so this cold pattern is not suppressed. It has a 3x, which is not terrible on a PPSH because it's a pretty good long range SMG. But just not being not suppressed, the 3x does kind of limit you at close a bit. I think it's still A tier. It's just kind of bottom of A tier. Diamati again, something that many of you felt I underrate, which again is understandable because i am a pc key and mouse player so we don't do as well with pistols up close but yeah if you hit your shots if you're a controller you have aim assist it has very good tt guy there's no doubt about that this the common has only 15 rounds uncommon and above have 24 so they're definitely better but even though i even then i still think it's you're only really gonna down one I guess some of you might just feel a little more aggressive with it, but I don't. This is being suppressed. I definitely think is you can be a more aggressive. DMR, yeah, it just never gets used. Honestly, just there's just so many other options. So they're they're just a gun. Eve, this one, it would it requires a very specific range to down somebody. I kind of would. I know. <laughs> uh, this Magnum doesn't matter. It's just a Magnum. EM2, really good. I think it's kind of neck and neck. AK47, EM2. K47 is a little better up close. EM2 is better kind of range. Um, so it's kind of how you want to. I think most, most people, if you're not looking for a sniper support, it's going to be an EM2 as your main. So this is better as a sniper support. This EM2 just has a field agent grip difference. This Farah, yeah, sadly just only has 30 rounds. Still really accurate at range and suppressed, but just limited by the amount of bullets. Fafar is, yeah, I know some of you might take a Diamante over Fafar. For me, I'm just going with the full auto. They're kind of neck and neck. Oh, we are in the wrong tier here. These are up. And then the rare, it's in little frisky. 
Yeah, it's not suppressed. I know the Diamati is, but this has got 50 rounds. So I'm, in that case, I'm always gonna take capacity. This Fafar is here. Fafar is solid, it has a good TTK. You're just, that ADS time is going to limit you and you're not gonna win against an SMG 101, but with the proper positioning and drop on another, on your opponent, it could definitely get the job done and it's suppressed. So I think it's a very solid gun. The Grav, yeah, the Grav has been pretty polarizing. A lot of recoil, pretty ineffective. I'm still gonna put it over the DMRs. Just, just can't use semi-autos right now. It's just, people just run out, you, you engage and then they just escape. That's where I put it. These grabs are really bad. You know, they're kitted for range, but the gun is not good at range. I guess I, guess I would take a DMR over that, these grabs. Sadly, that's how bad the grab is right now. How bad a spot it is in. And then yeah, this, this grab is even worse. So uh, would I take a car V? I would, a lot of you would probably take a Diamati over it as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might be there, honestly. Honestly, an AUG? I think I might take the AUG. Maybe I'm underrating the AUG here. I know a lot of you would take to do this. I think that's actually probably better. I think actually, maybe I need to put, uh, maybe I need to move up the Diamati. Yeah, grass pretty bad. Still 35 rounds, you should be able to get the job done. <laughs> DMRs are just not been good, man. Uh, this grab, 50 rounds. I'm always tempted by this, but again, it's just not very been very effective. But I'm st still, yeah, I'm still taking it. <sighs> 50 rounds, man. You should get the should get the job done. You just like theoretically, <laughs> you, it should get the job done. This has 45, it's not suppressed. So it's like, yeah, it's basically Fafar or this, like, and the Fafar just has a little better TTK. Uh, so I'm going with the Fafar. The Groza, again, similar in line. This one has more bullets than the Fafar. So that's why I'm going with the Groza in this case. LW3, it's good. But nothing, it's definitely a tier below the Swiss right now. It takes three shots to down someone if you don't hit a headshot. So that's why it's definitely a tier, tier below. But it's still really good. Sniper suppressed. Great. That's great as a ground loot. The Hauer. Man, the DMRs are really, I really don't use the DMR. I kind of would take the Hauer over the DMR right now. Just avoiding the grab at all costs. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I think I'd rather have a Howard, guys. I think I'm having. A, I would take a Howard over these guns. I think Howard's solid, like up close with teammates. You really you can get the you can get the job done. These are really gimped. This Hefe Weizen AK74U is yeah, just it's the top of A. But again, I think it's just a, a smidge below the other. SMGs, this iron hide, not used a lot of the iron hide, <clears throat> to be honest. I, I think it's just a slightly longer range, but slower killing Hauer. I think I would, I'd still take a DMR over Hauer. I think I'd still take a crap over Hauer. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't go there yet. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's correct. This LC10, LC10's quite good, but it is definitely slower killing, the slowest killing of the SMGs. It has 55 rounds, it is suppressed. So it's good, but it's just, everything changes with the OTS-9 and the uncommon OTS-9 being 40 rounds. Like these guns, you would die to an up close OTS-9 uncommon. So it's just like, I, it's hard for me to put you in a steer when you can be killed by an uncommon weapon. It's nothing to be ashamed of. The OTS-9 is just really good. Uh, this MG-82, yeah, I, I, I really like the MG-82, but I think you do need to be a bit careful. I can, I've, I've gotten a little aggressive with the MG-82 up close and have been lit up by an SMG. So you really have to have the right positioning because if you if you go against an SMG person that knows what they're doing, you will get slaughtered. But in the right situations, this can wipe a squad. So it's kind of a hit or miss. This Tundra is here. 
and then this Mac 10. Apologies. I have since using it more. I do enjoy it more. I think I've gotten some consistency with it. I have to say I've liked it more as of late. This one's not suppressed, but still 50 rounds, 53 rounds. Magnum. We know where you go. This MG82, same thing as the other one. This MG82, I've got it in here and i do have the uncommon over the rare i just like the iron sights up for up close than the 3x these are suppressed so that's why they're above know the situation and the mg2 can do really well just don't get yourself stuck in a bad situation with it uh this nail gun i rare have rarely ever seen so but if you do ever find it, you probably have a better option. It's it's solid, but just a lot of other better options. This car V just right there. Okay. So the 20 round, I, I, I'm always very wary of using this gun because it's only 20 rounds and it's very high risk, high reward because 20 rounds is a very little amount and you, but if you're very accurate, you'll get the job done. So that's why I put it, it's definitely the definition of a down one time backup because you're probably not gonna do more than that, but it's obviously very, very good at downing one. This OTS-9 is ridiculous. This is the go-to, probably top three, top two. It's like probably this or the Fafar, when the Fafar was ridiculous, season two. Um, for best uncommon ground of all time. This might be it. This might be number one. I, I'd have to think about it, but this is so good. It's, yeah, it's like mid A. I think other seasons it might be S. It's kind of crazy. It, it really, it's, it comes down, do you want to be suppressed? If you don't want to be suppressed, this is better. Like you're gonna wipe the, the, the guns above it. So it's a, it's a suppression thing. I think suppression is important, especially how hot Warzone's been. But yeah, ridiculous. The epic and legendary are really good, obviously. Except the 40 round does come into play. I do prefer, it's a tough call with the MAC-10. I do think I would take the OTS-9, but some of you might want more ammo and the MAC-10 has more ammo. So tough call. This is not a tough call. It's a gun. This M79. <sighs> Sigma, just that added vehicle destruction capability i think it makes it a kind of a tier above pipe cleaner plaza security is back yes guys and girls oh it was fun shooting it it's fun always shooting this gun it's not the farah that it was when the plaza security was around in season four so but you still are gonna beam the far is really accurate very little recoil it's kind of surprising sometimes when you shoot it. it feels so good just doesn't kill as fast but it's really really good just not the top where the PPSH is really good spot PPSH is in right now. Sniper support, basically very similar to what I run for my sniper support PPSH. So it's really good. You should use it if you're a sniper. This is also really good. It's hard between this and this, but I do think I would take suppression over uh, the mag capacity there. This PPSH is just above the nail gun. A really good uncommon option. But often I'm holding an OTS-9, so I often don't pick this up. Other seasons, this would be great. I, I hold the OTS-9 and I hold like an MG-82. Roman, standard, number one, sets the standard. It's back. It's a meta Swiss. I mean, I run an airborne elastic. This does. Ha this has a serpent wrap, but I mean, there's barely any difference. This is a meta Swiss. So if you are a sniper, if you use a Swiss, this is your number one. It's it's this doesn't get any better than that. This RPG G G G he would still take guns over it. Sigma, it's situational. Like if I knew there's a chopper around, I would definitely pick this up. But other times I would actually probably pick guns up. But I'll put it I'll put it there. <clears throat> Stoner. Stoner just never really gets any run. And I went into that in my attachments video. It's just Right now, LMGs are slow, except for the like MG82 is kind of the exception because it kills so fast. Stoner kills fast, but also this has uh, the 4X. So it's 
kid for range and it's just hard i think it's just hard we're just so sweaty right now it's just like you can't it's very hard to kill people at super long range people just sprint around find their way to a tree and survive and it's and then they probably have a sniper rifle and then you're screwed so it's <laughs> it's good it's just yeah the player base has gotten better it's just harder to to beam out at like 120 100 meters like we used to be able to the fafar this fafar just above the other fafar here the, yeah you know i i don't i think these are actually you you just want to be better at close range you know it's more like a lot it's a definitely a long range option this ak really good ak em2 really great options stoner back here the stoner is you know stoners yeah that that, that 4x really limits you i think it's gotta be yeah here you just you gotta be you gotta take the close range options this stoner is better because it's iron sighted so i do like this stoner common stoner here this lc10 just slightly better than that lc10 this sunburst just slightly better than this diamati this mag 10 slightly better than that mag 10 sensing a pattern this swiss is basically a meta swiss i think it's just i think it's the serpent wrap that's missing yeah this is really good top rare option love find that this groza just above the other groza and then the ots9 undercover agent back again and it is right ahead of the epic so that's it folks gang ton of weapons ton of ground weapons some amazing like this can be a loadout gun definite awesome a tier options and then a lot of usable guns they really listened to the community and made it uh quite usable now i know they did kind of adjust at the drop when you drop in it feels like you're not getting a gun as quickly as you used to. I think it's gotten a little better, but I think the first week of season, the mid-season patch, it was pretty bad. Now it's a little better. Um, so they're they're definitely balancing. They're always balancing the ground loot. Be exciting to see what Pacific will bring us in terms of ground loot. Um, so looking forward to that. So you know, you guys, I'll be right on it. Might be. Hopefully, all the people that put out the attachments video, which I rely on, thank you to those people. Hopefully, they will have had all the Vanguard weapons out by then, because I will be 100% relying on them, because I don't have any Vanguard weapons maxed out or anything like that. So, big shout out. I will definitely have to like shout out those people that do that. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I might put some gameplay video out. I got some good gameplay out the other day, but, uh, we may then just see you guys in Vanguard coming up soon. Looking forward to it. All right. Catch you all on the next one.